please subscribe to the channel thank you hi friends free welcome to free online tech videos my name is ravi in this video session we are going to see about chgrp command change group ownership of files and directories chgrp is used to change files and directories group ownership okay now how group ownership works and how you can change the group ownership okay you can see that so the these two fields these two fields which represents uh, ownership of the user and the group okay first one is the user ownership and the second one is the group ownership you can also change this ownership using the ch mode command uh, but um, that you can change but you have to provide this username and uh, group name something like that instead of doing that you can simply use okay you can also change using the ch own also the ownership of the files and group ownership also you can change it but csgrp is only look at up for the group ownership so it does not change the ownership of the uh, user but it only changes the ownership of the group how you can change chgrp we can provide the group name and provide the file name example that i would like to change this directory we can use like this and so the ownership of this test group test directory has been changed you can simply do so you can also change the file permissions if you want okay this one i would like to change from a ravi to root you can also change like this it is changed from a ravi to root like that you can simply change the files and directories ownership if you want to change recursively on the particular directory example i would like to change this directory and including its subfolders and subfiles test i am creating one to 10 files of .txt here 10 files has been created under this directory now i would like to change the permissions of this directory including inside the files we can simply use csgrp a ravi okay before that what you have to do is capital r to change recursive recursively and provide that directory path this is the directory path you can now check it up all the permissions of that directory including the sub files has been changed now if you use chgrp hyphen c it will provide a one simple feature is that if the changes has been made to the affected files and directories it will show the output if nothing has been changed it does not provide any output here okay let's see here i am changing again these directory permissions recursively so it's changing the is showing that is already the ownership has been a ravi for the group so it's not doing providing any output here but if you ch change back from ravi to root so it says that so it, the group of the directory is changed from ravi to root so the c is very useful like verbose but it's not complete verbose it just provide you whenever the changes has been made to that directory or the files the group has been changed then it provide the output whereas chgrp hyphen v provide the output if the path has been changed or not changed okay always it provides the output like this see so it provide the output but again if you provide change back to root again it provide the options but it provides a different way of output like the permission is already retained so that's why it does not, does not change anything so it change retained if it is changed it is changed from so and so group to so and so group it stays like that in chgrp there is an option is that you can reference some files 
to change like that permissions if this file is there from this file what I am taking as a reference is that this group name I am taking as a reference and I am applying to other file chgrp and iphone iphone reference equal to this file reference and apply that permissions to this file now let's see this file permissions group permissions has been applied to this file so I did not provide anything here but it's changed taking the reference from that file and applied to here so in the same way I have some linked files linked file in the sense one file has been linked to another file there is no file actually it is on a sap link but if you wanted to change that link permissions group or perm group ownership from using the csgrp command you can also do that I am to make the soft link I am making a soft link like this from the root s to slash tmp slash s1 now I made the soft link let's take example and verify that so the s1 is has the root ownership group was root ownership now if you wanted to change to this ownership you can use dereference dereference and provide the group name and provide the soft link path now verify so this soft link path has been changed if you use no only dereference then it changes the original file ownership not the link ownership if you use no dereference it changes the link path not the virginal path you can see here s is already in a ravi that's why it does not change anything likewise you can use the chgrp command to change the owner group ownership of the files and directories this is about the chgrp command thanks for watching stay tuned please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask